Yes, it's Friday. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to the weekend. We're trying to put a bit of a brave face on it, I guess, because it's been a roller coaster of a week, particularly if you, know, if you are an England fan. If you're not bothered about football, I'm sure you're not bothered. But um, 26 million people tuned into the football and obviously there's been a lot of disappointment. And um, anyway, we're trying to pick ourselves up. Uh, hopefully I can cheer you up today uh, by grappling with iPool, which I'm going to show you in a minute, which is here. Uh, what else can I do to cheer you up? Well, we're doing a, a special deal. Uh, we don't normally do sales. We'll do some sort of clearance events and money off that sort of thing, but we don't do carte blanche money off everything. But because everybody was so sad after Wednesday night, we decided to just put an extra 5% off everything that we sell. And obviously if you're going to spend I know we've got one chap looking at a pinball machine for 10 grand, so he's going to save himself 500 quid. So it does add up to quite a lot of money with the sort of thing that we sell. Our margins are so thin, we don't normally do anything because we just have the lowest prices all the time. But if you are in the market for something, then now is a great time to buy. We'll give you an extra 5% off everything. Uh, so pick whatever you want. You'll need to phone in though and speak to the sales guys because because we don't do discount codes and voucher codes and that sort of thing, there's no facility or no code for me to give you to put it through the website. So you need to call in and speak to our wonderful sales guys. Uh, they'll help you obviously with your choice. They'll sort out everything for you. And they'll of course give you your discount, but this only runs until four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So it literally is today. If you're watching this, it's Friday the 13th, I'm lucky for some. So it's today and tomorrow, Saturday, and after that it's finished. So four o'clock tomorrow is when we close. Uh, so if you want to come to the showroom, obviously you can pop down and have a look at something. One of the guys will give you a hand and give you a discount. Um, so that's our bit to try and cheer up the nation after our disappointing Wednesday. Um, what else have I got for you? We got a, a mug winner. So our prize mug of last week, we actually gave away two. So let me just model our wonderful mug as designed by Jakob. So there we go, Homeless Direct on it. And and all of our great retro, um, uh, what are they? Retro icon, iconic uh, retro. What, Jakob, you designed it. What are they? Iconic characters. That's all, that's the one I was looking for. Well ah. done, Jakob. Good. Uh, so we've given away two actually last week. So we did two videos. The first one we did was all about Daytona. We had Reese uh, racing uh, against Mike. Um, and our winner for that was Andrew Wallace. He predicted uh, Lewis Hamilton, who had a disastrous weekend, really, after getting Kai Bosch, and obviously he's a little bit unhappy, but he came second, but it's not first. But anyway, Andrew Wallace, you came first. You've got one of these coming to you. Jakob will contact you, get your address. And then the Iron Maiden video that we did with Josh, um, I asked you uh, if you could have a licensed pinball machine that hasn't already been done, what would it be? Uh, and we've got JD Rides uh, commented on our YouTube version of the video. Obviously, these videos are not just on uh, Facebook, but also on YouTube and on Instagram TV as well. So JD Rides said that he thought Toy Story would be a really good theme, which I think it probably would, actually. He's even designed wizard modes, uh, all sorts of different characters and stuff in there. He's put some thought into this. So thank you very much to JD Rides for that. Um, a mug will come to you. Again, Yaka will contact you. Just drop us back an email with your details and we'll send out your mug for you. So, I, Paul. Let's take you through iPool. Have you heard what iPool is? Right, let me try to explain to you what iPool is. Jakob, come on over and we'll try and show you what iPool is. So iPool basically projects onto your pool table. So you may well have seen videos we've done before. This is a Joy Chinese 8-ball table. So this is a 9-foot uh, Chinese 8-ball pool table. Um, and it had a silver cloth fitted to it. And I explained on previous videos why it's got the silver cloth. That cloth actually comes with the iPool setup. Let me show you the iPool setup. Uh, if you can come around here, Jakob, and I'll point using my cue at this. So it basically mounts into your ceiling. So we've cut a hole in our ceiling tile and paid somebody because we're not very good at technical things uh, like, <laughs> like this. It'd probably fall down if I had to do it. So we've paid a very good chap called Mike uh, for us to basically attach this to, we've got a ceiling joist going along here uh, and it has to go at a very precise height to be able to project onto the table. And in here, in this box, you've got not only the projector, but you've got a PC. Uh, you also got a camera. I don't know if, Jakob, if you're getting this, you've got a light in the way there. Can you come around here? Uh, is you've got a camera there that's watching the table and then you've got sensors also that are on here as well exactly what they do I don't know but there's some wires coming off them and they appear to be lit so they must be doing something uh, so that's the unit itself so bit technical is it for your average home customer probably not you probably haven't got a ceiling that's high enough and you probably don't want to be hacking great big holes in it to try and hang it off the ceiling but for pool halls really we actually have got some domestic customers who want them but we're going to have to do a bit of a survey to work out how we're actually going to install it. 
But what it gives you is this. So we've got this running. Let's try and get our funky music going. So I turned it down for the start. There we go. So um, we've only just got it working. It's been in for a while, but it's got a Chinese version of Windows. And as a result, we struggled to get it to configure. But we FaceTimed China and Ted, who's not here today, unfortunately, but Ted's been our mastermind and he's got it all working, but we haven't had a chance to really have a look at everything. But I'm going to give you a bit of a flavour of what it does. So, Jakob, if you can try and get this, I will point at different things. Um, you've got entertainment mode, uh, which is basically these options here. Then you've got game mode. There we go, and it'll give you these options. And then you've got professional training, which then gives you these options. So I'm going to give you a bit of a flavour, and we'll spend a bit more time going through all of this. Now, I've managed to start up uh, something by accident. I obviously put in my queue at the wrong thing. I knew this was going to go wrong. So this is an amateur grading system. I'm not ready for amateur grading yet, to be honest. So let's come out of this. If you put the queue there, it comes out of it. Let's go back to entertainment mode and let's show you what most people have seen before on uh, Facebook and YouTube, which is the swimming fish. So the swimming fish is koi carp on your pool table. It's what you've always wanted, uh, is to have a pond. We've got a koi carp coming out. Some nice music. How relaxing to play Chinese eight ball to relaxing piano and koi carp. So let's just try and put our balls here and you'll see you get ripples and your fish swimming away as the ball moves around. So let's just try and break these balls up and see what happens. Uh, how much room have I got here? So it's pretty cool. That's the effect you get from your swimming fish. Nothing more than that, just swimming fish. So that's that, so it's come out of this. So it's quite cool though, look at the way all the ripples all move around and all the fish move. Uh, so that, anyway, that's that. Um, what else have we got on it? We have got, well, these are quite cool, similar sort of thing, but this is Skyrocket where you'll basically get a fireball uh, whizzing around with wherever your cue ball is. So let's just try and pop some balls. I can see there's a plant on there, which I've missed. And then you'll just get fireballs going. Now, if I'm actually potable, which is easier said than done, uh, let's try and get this one in here, Jakob. Can I cut this in? He's only gonna done it, there we go. And then you'll get that kind of effect go all the way across the table. So it's pretty, let's try and pot another one. Uh, well, where am I gonna go? Let's go middle pocket. It's difficult, it's a difficult shot. I've messed it up. Right, so that's, that's Skyrocket. Yaka's getting bored. He's going, he's going like this. He's trying to tell me something. Uh, lightning bolt, let's just show you lightning bolt. Let's get that to load up. Yaka, I hope we're not boring you. Are we boring you, Yaka? Are we doing all right? <laughs> that's fine. He's trying to tell me something. Uh, so there we go. So you get this lightning effect. I'm going to try and get it in that pocket there, Yaka. It's a straight pot, so it should be all right. No, wobbled it. Should. Damn it. Here we go, let's try and pot this. It is straight, I'm not gonna try and hit it too hard actually. There we go. And that's what you get. So that's your lightning bolt, let's come out of that. Let's show you one more, as long as Jakob's not too bored. He's saying one minute, Andy. Right, so one minute, let's go professional training. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a challenge next week and we're gonna get some of the guys to do this because I love this, it's brilliant. So this is Chinese eight ball grading system. And this basically gets you uh, to, let's just get it to load up, let's put these off the table. If you come round, Jakob, we can actually show these different sort of settings. Come around this way, so it's all the right way up. Um, so it's basically got six different levels. I won't point at them because it will start to play them. Um, and you can sort of start one off. So let's just start off level one. And it gets you to put the ball in a certain place, cue ball in a certain place. Right, so it set this up, you got that all right? Okay, try and get the pocket. So you've got an arrow pointing at the pocket and then you've got to try and put your ball. Well done. Well done, brilliant. So I got one in. Right, oh, let's try and get this one here. So you put that one there. You've got to be quite careful where you put it because it's got a sense that the ball's actually there. There we go. And I don't know if you can catch the lady telling us what to do. Let's turn the volume up just to make sure that you can actually hear her <coughs> telling us what to do. And it's time, so I need to hurry up actually, just in case. 
Oh, I've actually managed to pot another one. Brilliant. So that's uh, two in so far. Oh, right, object ball there. This is the last one I'm going to show you. We'll do a proper uh, test on it next week. Um, there we go. Right, so let's see if I can get this in. This could be three out of three, Jacob, and then I won't look like a complete numpty. Hey, I've done it. Right. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, so there we go. There's iPaul. Very quick little look at it. It is amazing. It's in the showroom. If you want to come down and have a go on it, we'll turn it on for you. Ted knows all about it. I know a bit about it. Um, and the rest of the guys we need to do some training with. But if you want to come and have a go, we'll turn it on. Come and have a play. It does look super cool. So uh, from what you've seen, so my question for you this week is from what you've seen, do you think iPaul looks cool or does it look rubbish? Uh, and from what you've seen, what do you like? Did you like the fish? Do you like the grading system, which I actually love, to be honest with you. It does give you scores. You, can you just get this bit in there, Jakob? So you can actually see level one. I've done three out of 10. I've scored 20 so far. Have I only got 20? I thought I got three. Anyway, maybe I got confused. Anyway, so tell me what you think. Do you think it looks cool or not? Interested in your feedback. And that's it from me. Have yourselves a great weekend. Watch the England game tomorrow, maybe, maybe not. I've lost. Maybe England have lost. There's a, there's a message. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. I'll catch you next week.